okay, this next video. A lot of this stuff is like, I'm so truly blind reacting. Like really and truly I glance, but I was not 100 what I was getting myself into. Your guess is as good as mine as like, as so far as what actually ends up happening here. I think it's supposed to be partner shaming. Let's find out. This is what I woke up to. My husband was on night shift with the baby last night. Ready? Dirty towel, open, open. Dirty rag, swimsuit, top. Partner shaming, okay, okay. So um, she says that husband was in charge of watching the baby last night. Question for the ladies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so I haven't even said it yet. Question for the ladies. Uh, when you agree to being on baby duty for the night, how thrilled would you be on a scale of one to 10 if after your baby, your night of baby duty, the following morning, your husband was like, why isn't the house clean? <laughs> Do you see how easy it is when I just simply reverse a gender? Do you see how easy it is to point out how toxic this behavior is? Baby duty at nighttime entails making sure the baby sleeps. And if the baby needs to be woken up and fed, making sure the baby eats. There is no reasonable parent, heavy on the reasonable, who thinks that nighttime baby duty includes detailing the house, okay? But all right, let's, and let's also like judge. If we're really gonna do this, you are you want us to partner shame your man? First of all, amazing exfoliating job though. I have to say, whatever you are using for your skincare regimen, keep doing it, girly. You look amazing, but... Baby last night. Ready? <laughs> this one is like such a cardinal sin to so many women. Please, like something in the chat, if you've ever been screamed <laughs> out by a member of the double X gender for having like putting the towel right up here on the door <laughs> oh my god no that's listen i can woman explain this so fast this is not a dirty towel it is it okay it might be actually it might be but here's what's happening it's a drying towel even if it's dirty you can't just throw it on top of the other dirty clothes because then they will start developing mildew in the time that it takes before you're able to actually wash the clothes. And that's yucky. If it is not dirty, it might have a second or even third use out of it. Y'all do not need to be throwing towels down after one shower. Am I wrong for that? Am I a dirty, dusty, nasty lady for saying this? But like... Your shower towel has a good, a good couple uses. It's gonna take a while before it even remotely starts getting crusty, okay? That towel could be used for dos mas showers even, okay? The, do the door seems like a perfectly appropriate thing. You're not gonna walk into it. It's not a trip hazard. It's out of the way. Maybe what you need to do to reach a compromise is get one of those like over the door hooks, but then those are annoying because you wouldn't be able to close the door fully with those and that would annoy you as well. So honestly, it's gotta go somewhere. The best place though is over the shower curtain, but then some people get mad about that. Look, it's gotta dry. It's gotta dry. Dirty towel, open. Okay, Does is this a pet peeve for any of you guys? Open drawers, pet peeve, yes or no? Just tell me if open drawers are pet peeve like this. I know a lot of you, men and women alike, and non-binary folks, pretty much everybody, a lot of people have the, the pet peeve for the open cabinets as well. I hate when they're this open. Like, we all miss the mark a little bit when closing our drawers to where they're like there's you've got like this little tiny wedge you know what i'm talking about or it's like the drawer might even be like sticking out like just a little just a little bit big pet peeve from aaron that's so funny open drawers equals divorce <laughs> I love that we were all pretty much in solidarity together when it came to the over the door towel. But yeah, he did lose a lot of us at the open drawers. At the same time though, it's nighttime baby duty. I don't know though, no, it's not an excuse. Excuse for here, 
This, though, if you've never been hip-checked into oblivion by an open drawer like this, then you don't know the pain. But I hope that you do feel it if you leave drawers open like this, because, like, especially those of us with them child-bearing hips, this is asking for disaster. Like, you are gonna harm us. What is a pet peeve? Interesting. I don't know why it got that name, but a pet peeve is a personal annoyance. So it could be something like people who chew gum with their mouth open or something like that. I can't name too many right now. For some reason, I'm like running out of brain cells at like a really rapid rate today. <laughs> Try to keep it together though. Open. Dirty rags. Okay. You know what though? Like swimsuit, towel. What is that? <laughs> okay. Dirty rag, towel on the floor. Again, eh. There's, in general, in general, if this is odd, if this is not like an every single day thing, towel on the floor post bath is very once a week for me as a parent, honestly. Very once a week for me. To be honest, this is like, we don't know what nightmares ensued here last night to, to, to what degree. Bath time could mean anything. It could be explosive blowout. One of those fully down the back, up the neck, in the hair blowouts. It could have, it could have continued on into the bath. Your parents, God only knows what horrors were unleashed <laughs> last night in here, okay? Like, <laughs> and even if it wasn't a horror show, even if it wasn't an explosive diarrhea situation, this is still a pretty average bath time scene for a parent with a kid. Like, towel on the floor, cheap knee guard, he's wearing a swimsuit, Maybe he's got one of those parents that just like likes to keep boundaries of not being fully nude while bathing the child, has to hang it up. Again, you don't want wet clothes on top of other dirty clothes. The mildew, I totally see that, that mind process here. Wet rag, again, dude, this is me. I can completely see how this scene got here. You have to let the wet stuff dry out a little bit before you can put it in with other dirty clothes. Now I'm wondering, Oh, they might not even have a shower rack to hang it up over. But they do have these. He could have used... He would have had to loop the towel over, but he could have done it. He could have put the rag on the hook. I'll give him that. He could have done that. Cameron says, has she actually asked him not to do these things? That's the thing is a lot of these people are like, I shouldn't have to ask you! <laughs> this is common sense! Tomb for zombies. Hip checking drawers sounds like a short person problem. I shin check or thigh check. You know what? That's true. But I also never hit things. Like, I'll never hit my head on a door frame. It'll never happen in my lifetime. So, yeah, probably a short person problem. Dirty rag, swimsuit, towel. What is that? Open, open. Okay. Yeah. What, what the hell, Buster? All right, I'm a little mad. This is also unsightly, but more forgivable. This is like, you can tell though, she's a pretty tidy person. These floors are like hella clean, but I'm like in admiration because I have three cats and two dogs. So my floors only look like this for like a few hours once or twice a week. <laughs> Open, 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 open. All right, now I'm like, the, okay, he, this is where people start accusing you of weaponized incompetence, because why are they literally all open? Oh, God damn it. He, I was on his side. I was rooting for you, buddy, but why is every single one? What were you doing all night? What were you looking for? Is Was this his, literally his first rodeo? Was this the first night that she was ever like, it's your first time to ever handle baby duty? And he, honest to God, was like, where is the formula? Where are the bottles? Where are the nappies? I don't know where anything is. Like, that could, that could be, that could be. And then, and then if that was the case, though, how dare you? If that, if it really was, like, his first go, his first time, 
Look, if you're like, okay, Lauren, today's the day. I'm going to teach you how to completely rotate a tire. Please don't film it and then upload it the next day. And like, if you're going to like make fun of it and be like, oh my God, like Lauren learning how to rotate a tire, that would be funny. But don't, don't seriously update it the next day and be like, asked Lauren to rotate a tire. This is how it went. Knowing I don't know how to rotate a tire. Open, open, open. Bottle. Bottle. But you guys, he did make me breakfast. breakfast this is what i woke up to i rate it uh, i'll give him a b no a b minus okay the job the task complete okay he he nailed it she was able to not only like it, it appears get a restful night's sleep get to exfoliate but we definitely lost an entire grade for the sheer amount, the sheer volume of open cabinets. Okay, that's about seven open cabinets too many for my forgiveness level. So we did have to drop an entire letter grade there. Then we get a... Okay, this this looks like fairly normal because those like have to air dry. But yeah, we left a lot of stuff open. Do you know what? I'm going to bring him back up to a B though because he made breakfast. That's definitely not part of nighttime duty. So he did, he did opening shift duties while on night shift. That might actually, that actually brings him up to a B plus. I'm going to give this a, a B plus night shift which honestly really great work in the parenting world like that's what's so crazy to me is like us women we rightfully complain all the time about how like it's never enough as a wife and a mother you know there's this incredible monologue in the barbie movie where um the the mother of the teen girl goes off on this tangent of like you know, you have to be pretty, but not too pretty. You have to be skinny, but not, you know, not too skinny. And you, you have to be people pleasing, but you also have to have boundaries. And she like goes on this whole thing. You know, women rightfully complain that like, it's crazy that, you know, I'm not allowed to just mother my children and have a messy house. But then what do we do to the men? The same thing. What do we do to each other? The same thing. Like it begins with ourselves. You know, we're wondering where this patriarchal standard of housekeeping came from. But when you think about who is giving each other the hardest time about whether or not our house looks clean enough, is it the men? Truly. Like, yes, I know that there are men who are absolute assholes about the cleanliness of homes. Of course I know that. But I also know that it is not men running these, like, Pinterest and Instagrammable perfect home and style blogs for the most part. Oh, the America Ferreira monologue near the climax. Yes? Who's America? Is that her name? Her name is America Ferreira? That is one hell of a name. But yes, that one. Yes. Let's read the comments. Because this is, uh, yeah, this is definitely partner shaming. Because here's the thing that categorizes a video for partner shaming is secretly record, secretly post. Let's be real, I don't have any context that suggests that she, like, gained permission. Like, I'm going to be posting this and then allow people to just drag the hell out of your husband for this. Anyone else's husband go rogue on night shift and why is there bleach in the bathtub? First time parents, okay. This is explaining a lot. Um, babies are portable and love to be hauled or rocked. Walked around and closed the damn cabinets and put the bottles in the sink and the dirty laundry in the hamper. Okay, so everyone's mad. This is just straight up disrespect. This is what I mean by like the damage of assuming the worst possible intent. 
Like, do you see how my mind, as an experienced parent, went straight to someone who doesn't know where things are and is just, like, desperately looking around for things? Like, she clearly has not had a chance to check in with the husband of, like, hey, what went on last night? Like, what happened on Night Shift? Because, like, you'll probably get one hell of a story. I can't tell you how many times that, like, in the early marriage days I would come home and be like, hey! You didn't do this thing that I asked you to do. That means you disrespect me and you're weaponizing your incompetence. You're trying to make me clean up after you. But then you actually talk to the man and he's like, actually, I had to prioritize this other thing because it was more urgent and emergent and I, you didn't even notice it. You know what I mean? Like this is the power of conversations and not assuming ill intent. Like, just, you have to try to avoid that. Like, what are the odds that this man went out of his way to, like, prove this whole disrespectful point of, like, how dare you ask me to watch the baby at night? I'm gonna make this, like, destroy this house because I promise you if that was the end goal, he could have done a much better job. <laughs> I hope this love never finds me. The bar is in hell. You have two kids. At least your husband takes a night shift with the baby. I do appreciate this. I guarantee you all 48 of these comments are like, the bar is in hell, the bar is in hell. Oh, Magnolia, okay. No, you don't. You're literally talking shit about the man for the whole world to see. Let's go, Magnolia, Hey, Ay, yo. Women holding women accountable? We love to see it.